At the end of March, I woke up to this noise. To me, this signals the true beginning of spring. Every year, a pair of ducks, sometimes more, come and visit my yard. They wake up, they walk around the backyard and do yoga. They visit my neighbors, they sit on my roof. Once, they led a parade of morning doves, squirrels, and robins. Suddenly they left. I figured they found a better place to nest other than a yard where two big dogs play fetch. I won't see them again hanging out, but I do find signs they've been around. My family and I saw this true love story because we are birding in our backyard. This year, all birders want everyone to stay healthy, so we've decided to stay close to home and I'd like to encourage you to enjoy birding this way too. There are many ways to get started. On pleasant mornings, I like to drink my coffee on my front porch and listen to all the birds wake up. It's very peaceful and I try to pick out the robins, cardinals, and sparrows. I fill the bird feeders and clean the bird baths. The biggest difference this year is that I'm trying to be mindful of how my backyard animals relate to each other. First, the house sparrows will bravely test how safe the feeder is and check out the new seed. Then the cardinals will come for a few morsels, and every so often a nuthatch grabs and goes back to the oak tree super fast. These three species are my regular visitors all year round. Suddenly, Blue jays and crows will crash into the yard, furiously squawking and cawing. All the little birds and squirrels hide in the pine trees or shrubs. Every so often, a hawk lands near a feeder to snatch a sparrow. Then the crows chase it off. It's chaos. What's the best way to start birding in your backyard? Take regular window breaks from your chores or screen time. Look out your window and notice the wind and weather, which plants are blooming, and note any other animals like squirrels or insects. Listen for little birds warbling. Keep a log of what you see. Try to draw anything you'd like to look up later. Very soon now, through the end of May, we'll have many different types of visitors looking to either stay around or are just passing through. During spring migration, Birds come from as far as South America, and some will be going on near the Arctic Circle. Warblers, buntings, and orioles all prefer to eat bugs, so following their food source, they may visit you. You'd be very lucky to see them. Invite birds to visit you. Leave out some seeds or suet in a feeder. Leave out clean water in a wide, shallow dish. Maybe put up a birdhouse. If you are curious to learn more about birds, the library has several online resources. Hoopla has Midwestern Birds by Bill Thompson. It's a beautiful ebook full of photos and just enough information to become familiar with most of the birds we'll see in our backyards. There are also several hundred bird books for kids, something for everyone. Canopy has two Great Courses series about birds. The first is the National Geographic Guide to Birding in North America, which is wonderful for bird appreciation and learning what to look for. The second is called The Scientific Wonder of Birds, which is a bit more international and science-based. Both are very enjoyable. I've created a handout listing these and other resources I hope you'll find useful, whether you are a beginner or very experienced. And my ducks? Last May I was working in my front yard when I saw a parade of ducklings. I'd like to think the mother duck was showing off her babies, but that's just a guess. I live at least half a mile from a little lake, so I really do wonder where they were going. If I'm lucky, hopefully I'll see this year's brood too. I hope you find something incredibly delightful in your backyard this spring. Stay well.